Good morning, everyone. I hope you are well and lovely to see you again. Thank you for coming back to Arrive Poly Studio. It's a Saturday morning and the sun is shining and couldn't be happier because it feels like summer is coming back, you know. The days are a bit longer, feeling a bit warmer, the sun's coming out a little bit more, less rain in England. So it's feeling really positive and I feel like, especially with interiors, we transition into a different way of living with a bit more outdoor living, with a focus to kind of add a bit more life back into the home after a long winter. So I love spring and I love the transition into different seasons, but yeah, especially spring, it always feels very, very positive and exciting to see the world kind of come back to life again after winter a bit dramatic maybe but yeah i personally really enjoy it so today i am doing a very different kind of video which is going to be quite fun and interesting to see what your reaction is to this we are doing a review of one of my subscribers place where they live their home in this scenario it's a uni halls so I thought no better timing just before the summer breaks and people start to go off to uni in September is to sit down and discuss some ways and have a review of this space to see, my, in my opinion, what I can do to make the space a bit more homely and to just bring it to life a little bit more. So I'm very excited to start this. I guess it's kind of a bit of a series. It could be a series, but an opportunity to look at some of your spaces and offer some advice and some help with that. So she has sent in a video of her space. I will show it on here and then just talk through some recommendations I have. I've written some down of how to improve the space and make it feel a little bit more homely and bring it up a notch. So first initial reaction when you walk through the door, it's a very bright space and you've got that big window at the end of the room, which is a really good thing. Storage wise, it looks really good for storage in terms of capability and what you usually get in a uni room. The storage is pretty well thought through, I would say. Um, so on the right hand side, I think there are some wardrobes there and then they put a mirror on the wardrobe and it looks like there's a little seat just next to her desk. My initial reaction is that it just needs a little bit more colour going on or a little bit more personality. We've got a couple of plants in there and that is a huge monstera, so that's really cool. But I think by adding a bit more colour through elements as we've spoken about before, so I can see she's got two plants there, which, yeah, really nice. But could we add more along the windowsill? So there's, I think there's a cactus in the corner there. But there's definitely an opportunity to add a bit more life into the room through plants, if that makes sense. The other thing on the right hand side that I can see is there are like storage units above the desk, which is everything's kind of on show at the moment. So her pens, I think there's some like stationery up there. There's a real opportunity there to get some wicker storage boxes that she can then pull out and put things in just to make it feel a little less cluttered because I didn't go to uni, but from what I understand is that you've got a lot of stuff, but not an awful lot of room to put it in. So when you do have those small bits out, so like pens and stationery and, I don't know, perfumes and all those different things like phone chargers, it can start to feel a little bit bitty and a bit cluttered. So my advice would be to get some nice looking storage boxes. I would probably go for like wicker ones because I think they look they add that element of warmth back into the room using those wood kind of textures. I would add some storage boxes in the nooks of the storage unit. The other alternative is if she is a reader, I don't know if she is, but if she is a reader, then she could really use nice that space to add a bit more colour through making it a bit more of a bookshelf on top of the, the desk. And it would add a little bit more, a bit more character and utilize that space better and then put the storage boxes on top i think there's a gap between storage unit and the ceiling so that would be a good opportunity to put the storage units on top and then the book in in that storage unit as such and then by doing that it would make the desk feel a little bit more prominent and a workspace rather than just you know another bit of storage to pot something that isn't relevant to working or uh, studying etc by by designating areas for different elements in your room because again it is a very small room you are adding a bit more points of interest to the room 
So it looks like she's got a really good space behind the bed, a nice shelf that she's utilised. I think she's got some cuddly toys on there. Very cute. Love jelly cats, by the way. If you haven't got a jelly cat, you need a jelly cat. Um, she's put some fairy lights behind, which isn't necessarily my taste, but it definitely adds that element of no overheads, a bit more cosy lighting and helps the space feel a little bit more warm. And then you've got this big white wall across the back of the bed. Now there's two options here, in my opinion. Where we've got really white bed sheets and the gray textured throw on the bed, it all feels a little bit white, a little bit clinical. So my advice would be either A, you add a bit more life to the wall through command hook blue tack that isn't going to damage the walls, etc. Or we look at adding a few token colourful pillows on the bed or two big, like I've got in my bedroom, the two big cushions from Ikea. They're about 75 centimetres by 75 centimetres. And I've got those in green and just by adding that pop of colour, it really helps to add a bit more life back into the space and to make it feel a little bit more colourful and less clinical. So the route I would probably go down to make it feel less uni-dorm vibes and a little bit more grown up is to start adding some colours or textures or even patterns through token cushions or decorative cushions on the bed. I think that would really help make that back wall feel a little less stark. I also like the way she, just in the corner there with the plant, I like the way she's used the, I think it might be like a storage box or something, she's put the plant on top because it adds height to the room and it's utilising the space really well in terms of having those nice bits in there without taking up too much space. So I really like what she's done there. She's panned round now onto the desk space and you can see probably a, a telltale of what she does at university, which is really cool. I do actually like those posters. You could even frame those posters and have them leaning against that notice board that's bright blue. I think they all come in like different colours and bright blue is a real unfortunate colour. But make a focus of those posters, put them in some nice frames and have them, I don't know, tacked against the notice board just to make it feel a little bit more purposeful and less plonked on the wall. But I do like what she's done there and she's added some posters on the right side, like some fun, quirky posters that she obviously quite likes. But yeah, it seems a little bit unfinished. The left of the posters, you've got just the blue again. So I think if you're going to do it, you've got to fill the whole thing with different posters or whatever. I do like what she's done there and the thought process behind it. She's also got a bit of mood lighting there and adjusting with those bright lights, they're almost a bit like sconces. It is very stark to look at. So perhaps getting a nice lamp that isn't so bright on the eyes, a swivel arm lamp on there would look really cute. I think that light is probably better to use as a spotlight behind plants to make it elevate in the, in the evening. So she could even put that light behind the monstera in the, in the corner on the left. She could even find a different light for the desk just to make it feel a bit more studious and less. I can't imagine she's working with that on because it's very bright. I might be wrong, but that would be my advice with that one. And then yeah, once you've got that storage unit filled with book or you've added those storage boxes, I think it will feel way more put together. And then you can see from the other point of view, so facing to the side, you can see a little seating area, which there's a, currently like a rucksack on. There is an opportunity to make that feel bit more purposeful and to tie the, the colouring in with the bed. So I spoke about earlier adding some decorative cushions and plumping out the bed a bit more with some colour or some patterns. You could use similar patterns and tie the throw and the cushions on the bed with that seating area to make it feel a bit more cohesive and make that seating area a nice place for people to hang out and chill and make it feel a bit more cosy. Maybe by adding even a poster behind it adding some throws or some cushions and tie it in with the bed so it feels a bit more cohesive in the space. Overall though, I absolutely I love where she's going with it. I do feel like she's done a really good job overall of the living area. And I think with those additions, it will really start to help it feel a little bit more homely and less uni room, if that makes sense. The other thing that she could do actually when looking at the bedroom is by, I think it's got like a gray carpet. If you weren't keen on that, you could definitely add a runner rug in between the desk and the bed to kind of hide as much of the carpet as you would like if you felt like you wanted to hide the carpet. I think it would also make it feel a little bit more luxurious. Obviously the carpet in the uni halls isn't going to be the nicest quality. Definitely done to have quantity in mind rather, rather than quality. 
by adding a nice, you can get them from Ikea or Dunnell Mill, a nice runner rug that's of kind of that jute material or even, I don't know the term, but you can get kind of pattern material. I'll insert a picture to show where I'm coming from. I think that would make it feel a bit more homely and a bit more inviting and just playing with those textures. So tying it in with the colourings on the cushions that you would add to the bed or the throws or whatever route you decide to go down. Just adding a bit more texture here and there will help bring that sense of homely feel into, into the space. The other thing to bear in mind is that when I say that you can add posters or art, these are all things that are very easy to make or to draw if you are creative of course but invite your friends around and, and draw each other or whatever and make it a fun thing and use colours that tie in with your room it doesn't have to be expensive if you just try and think outside the box especially art and adding posters and stuff like that to the space you can definitely make things very cheaply and have a good fun night of it so invite your girls around and you'll draw I don't know a picture of Leonardo DiCaprio abstract <laughs> or whatever Timothy Chalamet abstract use those opportunities to socialize and fun and be creative together i think that's part of the fun of adding more to your space just having fun with it so thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed a different take on my usual content uh, it was very fun to look through and see the spaces that you guys are living in. I would definitely like to do more of those so if you would like to submit a video of your space then please do let me know and um, send me a DM on Instagram Araya Poly Studio and I will definitely have a look to see if I can include it in upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching. I am headed to Portsmouth with my boyfriend. He went to university at Portsmouth and studied business management I think. Um, so yeah, we are going to take a trip down memory lane, which will be really exciting, and see where he lived, and he's going to take me on a tour. Um, so yeah, all very exciting stuff. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!